Today, we are going to learn about the different parts of plants and their functions. Are you ready? Let's get started. Every plant has different parts that help it grow and survive. Let's take a look at each part and what it does. First, we have the roots. Roots are like the plant's feet. They keep the plant anchored in the ground and help it absorb water and nutrients from the soil. Roots are usually hidden underground, but you can sometimes see them poking out of the soil. Have you ever seen a carrot? That's a root that we eat. Next, we have the stem. The stem is like the plant's backbone. It supports the leaves and flowers and helps transport water and nutrients from the roots to the rest of the plant. The stem is the part of the plant that is above ground and can be thin or thick depending on the type of plant. Have you ever seen a tree? The trunk is a type of stem. Now, let's talk about the leaves. Leaves are like the plant's lungs. They take in air and use sunlight to turn it into food for the plant. This process is called photosynthesis. Leaves come in many different shapes and sizes, and they are usually green, but they can also be red, yellow, or even purple. Have you ever seen a maple leaf? It's a type of leaf that turns bright red in the fall. Finally, we have the flowers. Flowers are like the plant's way of making babies. They contain seeds that can grow into new plants. Some flowers also attract bees and other insects that help pollinate the plant. Pollination is when the pollen from the flower's male parts, the stamen, is transferred to the female parts, the pistil, which fertilizes the plant and allows it to produce seeds. Have you ever seen a dandelion? The yellow part that we blow on is actually a flower. So, to recap, we have the roots, stem, leaves, and flowers. Each part of the plant has a special job to help it grow and survive. Pretty cool, huh? Now, let's talk about some fun facts about plants. Did you know that some plants can move? The Venus flytrap is a type of plant that can trap insects with its leaves. When an insect lands on the plant's leaves, the leaves snap shut, trapping the insect inside. Another fun fact is that some plants can live for a very long time. The giant sequoia tree can live for over 3,000 years. That means that some of these trees were alive during the time of the ancient Egyptians. Plants also have many uses for humans. We use plants for food, medicine, and even to make clothes. Have you ever eaten a strawberry or a banana? Those are both types of fruit that come from plants. And did you know that aspirin, a medicine that can help relieve pain, comes from the bark of a type of tree? Now that you know about the different parts of plants and some fun facts, it's time to go outside and explore. See if you can find some plants with these different parts. Look at the roots, stem, leaves, and flowers. See if you can find any plants that move or that have been around for a long time. And remember, plants are amazing and important for our planet. That's all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed learning about the different parts of plants and their functions. Now, go outside and have fun exploring. Like and subscribe to our channel. Check out the links below for free resources for students of all ages.